Hello everyone, my name is Ryan Cam, and I finally watched Fargo. This was directed by Joel and Ethan Cohen, or directed and written by Joel and Ethan Cohen, I should say. It starred Francis McDormand, William H. Macy, John Carroll Lynch, Peter Stormare, and Steve Buscemi, among others. And before I go any further, I should say that I know that on my Twitter I said that today's video was going to be a review of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World with Loretto from the Suit Up Geeks podcast. However, uh, due to a scheduling conflict with just just due to a, a work thing on Loretto's part, that video has been delayed. I was considering doing the video by myself, but I had promised you all a video with me and Loretto, and I didn't want to do that. I don't want to clickbait you guys. So I just, I, I made the decision to just hold off on the video for now until Loretto gets a little more, gets a little more time to where we can record it and then I can upload it. I am sorry if you all were expecting a Scott Pilgrim video today. I promise it will be coming. However, I wanted to I wanted to do this with Loretto and 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 it would just it just wouldn't be the same if it would would be me doing it by myself. So that video will be coming hopefully in the coming week or even next week. Loretto is a good friend of mine. I love working with him over the Suit Up Geeks. I hope that he is watching this, and I hope that we can make the Scott Pilgrim video happen. And I and I mean that most sincerely. So with that in mind, let's talk about Fargo and the fact that, well, I finally watched it. It tells the story of a man named Jerry Lundergaard, played by William H. Macy, who through a bit of a complicated series of events tries to do a money scheme through his car dealership and it blows up in his face and he needs about $750,000 quickly. And so instead of just asking his very wealthy father-in-law for a loan, he decides to arrange to have his wife kidnapped. Love and marriage. He hires Peter Stormare and Steve Buscemi to kidnap his wife who turn out to be like the worst criminals ever. And through a series of events that are darkly comical, everything goes completely pear-shaped. And a sheriff named Marge Gunderson, played by Frances McDormand, is brought on to the case. And despite being very pregnant in her words, she is hot on the trail of this incredibly botched heist. If you follow me for any length of time, you will know that I love, love, love The Big Lebowski. It's one of my favorite comedies, if not my favorite comedy. But in every discussion that I have heard when it comes to the Coen brothers, Fargo is always brought up, like, without fail. And so I decided that I had to see this for myself. And now that I have... I can definitely understand why people bring this up. I'm not sure if I like this more than The Big Lebowski. I think it may be The Big Lebowski slightly, but Fargo is still great. Firstly though, I gotta give credit to the, the score and the cinematography. This was shot by Roger Deakins, and yes, it looks about as amazing as you might expect. This movie takes place in Minnesota and South Dakota, which, as someone who has been in that part of the in that part of the country, or specifically in the South Dakota and Wyoming region, it's pretty empty. I'm, I don't think I'm insulting anyone or anything when I say that. But Roger Deakins makes this place look so beautiful and, in a way, foreboding, that it just, it just really works. I felt cold watching this movie in sunny Florida. That's how good the cinematography is here. Not to mention some shots that are just so WTF that I can't go into them without spoiling it. Deacons outdid himself for sure. And of course the acting is absolutely fantastic. This stars a lot of the Coen's go-to people, specifically Steve Buscemi and Peter Stormare, who are in a lot of their movies. Frances McDormand is typically excellent here. I believe she did win an Oscar for this, and yeah, the Oscars got her right there. I'm not sure what the other nominees were, but they got her right in that instance. She really doesn't, like, 
use her pregnancy as a crutch. She just is like, oh, I'm on the case? All right, let's do it. And she does it. And I love, I love how kind of realistic, it, I mean, realistic as a movie like this could be, realistic, kind of like the police work feels. Like, the first scene that we see of Marge doing any police work is going to the scene of the crime and and her deputy going to be like, hey, Marge, someone's down there, and they're just, like, like investigating everything. And, of course, this being in Minnesota, every, every other sentence ends with, yeah. Seriously, I was not prepared for how many times people said, yeah, in a movie. If there are any people from the Minnesota area who, who are watching this, comment down below. Do people actually do that, or is that a stereotype? William H. Macy is really good in the movie, too. You kind of feel sorry for him because, you know, no one, I, I don't wish any, I don't wish money trouble on anyone. That's not fun. But he goes about it in such a boobish way that you're just like, dude, you deserve to fail. Instead of swallowing his pride and going to his father-in-law and saying, hey, um, I screwed up. Can I get some money? I'll pay you back with interest. Like, he doesn't do that. He's just like, I gotta show my father-in-law that I'm not a wuss. So I'm going to commit a, com a commit a felony crime. Why not? Peter Stormare and Steve Buscemi are... They're just great together. Steve Buscemi is, like, the hard type. He's, like, he he's, like, trying to be hard. And Stormare just sits there and broods. And it's better than I'm describing it. Some of their scenes are the funniest in the movie. And this being a Coen Brothers movie, the dark humor is strong with this one. And there were some scenes where I felt like if I laughed, I would have probably been going to hell. But as I was watching this, a thought came into my head. I said to myself, oh my god, this is Pain and Gain. Just for context's sake, Pain and Gain is a movie directed by Michael Bay. It's one of my least favorite movies of all time. Now... I defend Michael Bay every chance that I get. I don't think he is a hack. I think that he is just a very auteur type of filmmaker. He makes Michael Bay movies, love him or hate him, and I have respect for that. However, when I was watching Pain and Gain in the theater, I wanted to walk off the planet because this movie was just disgusting. I needed to take a shower after watching that. But now having seen Pain and Gain and now Fargo, I can definitively confirm that Michael Bay was trying to make his own version of Fargo with Pain and Gain. And boy, did it fail miserably. Because while the characters, all of them in Pain and Gain, are complete and total asshats, in Fargo, even the bad guys, you kind of weirdly like. I can't put my finger on it, but it, it, it's, a, it's a weird feeling, but it is there. And at the end of the day, like I said, I'm not sure if I think that The Big Lebowski is better than Fargo. However, as of right now, I think they are 1A and 1B in my head. Both of them are excellent, and if you haven't seen Fargo, I highly recommend it. I'm sure you watching this have probably seen Fargo, so what is your favorite moment? And I think I know at least two or three. Leave it in the comments, I'd love to read what you have to say. And like I said, the Scott Pilgrim video will be coming and hopefully sometime very soon. But I want to get Loretto involved in that because that is what I promised. And so I, I'm going to be, I, I want to live up to my promises on this channel. So that, so the Scott Pilgrim video will be coming. And then after the Scott Pilgrim video, it's going to be me kind of slaying a dragon, watching a movie for that for a lot of you, you have all seen, but I have never gotten the chance to. It's a pretty important movie. It's from 2010. I think you may have heard of it. It's called The Social Network. But if you like this video, please be sure to leave a like, comment your thoughts down below, and if you like this video and you want to see more like it, hit the subscribe button and click the bell to allow notifications. That way, when a new video drops, you'll be the first to know about it. My name is Ryan Cam, and I'll see you in the next one.